So yeah, this happened. It's not something that's rare or even surprising. Unfortunately, this did happen to be the one that had already been approved and was on its way to being the best video that I've had in the past 28 days. For those who don't know, that's a pretty big deal. Videos that are really popular are generally favored by the YouTube algorithm and result in being one of the best videos for the month. They do well in both starting a conversation, getting people involved, and funding. While I already know many are commenting right now that YouTube sucks and I should go to BitChute, that really isn't a good option. This is also not YouTube's fault, but more CBS and the US federal government. And just looking at BitChute, it's kind of like having a store on Times Square and getting angry when a dishonest thief steals some of your money and people telling you to go to Hood River, Oregon that has like 7,000 people there because it's not going to happen in that atmosphere. And it's really ironic anyway, because if BitChute ever got as popular as YouTube, they would turn right into what YouTube is. That's assuming they're not stupid people and don't want to get sued, but regardless. With both patrons and YouTube members, I can weather things like this a lot better. If you really enjoy the content, especially the stuff I do with like the last video that got tagged, I'm going to encourage you to either become a member by clicking below or going to patreon.com forward slash lore reloaded and becoming a patron there. Even a dollar a month helps more than you know. Part of this video though is I do want to take a moment to point out how ironic I think this entire situation is. You have a corporation pushing a franchise that hugely relies on a property that for at least three, maybe four different series talked about how no money is awesome, how we need to live in this utopia, how people should make art or do what they want for the betterment of the state. It is amazing to me that a property that is hailed as awesomeness from leftist YouTubers and socialists is controlled by a company that won't let a single dad who has two daughters use a 15 second clip that generally praises the very work that says communism is great. The video is going to be coming back up. I'm not going to let this one go. And if they want to take me to court, I guess I'll have to buy a suit to look good on CNN. It's just a shame. I thought it was a well put together video and I hate that it won't get as big as it should have. However, for those who tell me I should just get a real job or to do something else, I'm going to be honest, I love being an entertainer and a guy on the internet that gets to hang out and chill with so many fans, even with those I disagree with. I also enjoy that on this platform I can stand up to just outright nonsense and hatred. This is a major annoyance, this is going to cost me money, but it's not a reason to quit. Anyway, I just want to make this little note for you guys to know what's going on and the annoyance. The real Ghostbusters, more Trek, Expanse, Mech Warrior, and lots more coming up. Oh, and a brand new video on the nuanced take in the next few weeks. Stay tuned.